I've been here a lot. Me again. I want to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers and all your lovely comments and all the other YouTubers who've commented. Thank you guys. Big thank you. As you can probably tell off the title of the video, I'm going to see if I can save your fish. Well worth a watch this video. And it's all about this guy here. The grey heron. I'm going to tell you a bit of a story about what I know about grey herons. And if you look back at some of my older videos, you'll notice that I kept koi in a swimming pool. And what it was, early last year I was telling a family member of mine, I'm going to build a koi pond. I said, I'd like to keep koi. You know, I've done all these years with, with fish, um, tropical and cold water, you know, goldfish and stuff. I want to do koi. What happens? Two hours later, he comes with his bucket and he says, there you go, Lee. There's some koi, get, to get you started. I ain't got a pond. There was a tad too big to put in the goldfish pond. So... I couldn't really afford to build a big pond at the time. Uh, me and the missus was expecting our youngest uh, last year. So all the money was tied up. So the only thing I could do was buy a swimming pool and an half decent filter, put him in there. So I did that. Two days later, this fella turns up. No, well, not this one, obviously. That's a, a stuffed plastic one, but the real one of them turned up. And had a field day in my pond. He must have ate 65% of the fish my uncle gave me. So I thought, right, what can I do? So I went and I put this mesh on. Three days later, bloody thing come back again. Must have damaged about four fish just by trying to peck them. It's, it's beak, as you can probably see. Can I show you? It's beak can fit through that, no problem. No problem and get to your fish. Maybe one I'd be able to pull them out, but it will damage your fish. Anyway, winter came and I've never seen the errand again. I've seen him again twice this year, uh, beginning of this year. But last year I've never seen him again. And, um, Winter came and the fish grew. Fish grew absolutely lovely in the swimming pond, I must say. As a temporary home, and to do it cheaply enough, it's brilliant to, to keep them in a swimming pond. No good when they're bigger, in all fairness. So I've got to put that out there as a disclaimer. But yeah, they, they did wonderful all over winter. And come January, I went, that's it. I've had enough. There's the grey iron again. That's it. Time to spend the money and build this big bad boy behind me. And me and my nephew, uh, we built it and we put it together and uh, put the liner in and absolutely brilliant. Right. The dangers of errands. Not only can they eat your fish, not only can they damage your fish, but they can put parasites into the water as well through the faeces. Especially stuff like anchor worms. They can go through a bird's di digestive tract, no problem, and survive and come out the other end. So that you don't want in your pond, in all fairness, you do not want none of that in your pond. Not just errands, you can also get this off crows, who may be pecked at, at dead fish, uh, seagulls, etc. If you ever see stuff like this, please by all means shoo it away if you can. I must put another disclaimer out there. Whatever you do, do not hurt uh, any of the errands that land on your pool. So if you see any errands by your pool, by all means, go down, show them off. Whatever you do, I must put a disclaimer out there. Do not hurt them. They are protected by the Countryside and Wildlife Act of 1981. And you will get prosecuted if you're caught. Right, how can we avoid this? My advice is put a roof on your pond, especially if you've got an above ground pond. Put a roof on it. Number one, no leaves or other crap can drop through into your water. Bird feces, anything. Number two, get your mesh, your side meshed up. 
like so. This stuff is brilliant. Not only does it stop leaves and birds from getting in, obviously, but it is brilliant. It stops the birds from perching. You see? In here. He says, I know my camera skills are not the best, but as you can see, look, push on that. A bird can't perch on that. So we've got the two sides. And obviously, as you can tell off the, the back, there's a brick wall off the back. But on the front, I use the larger um, netting. And I like to pull this nice and taut if I can. And this also stops the birds from perching on there. Uh, like I said, um, if I had a ground level pond, I'd put some sort of framework over the top, maybe build um, a box of maybe the fine stuff, the fine mesh over the top, and maybe chicken wire around the sides. Anything you can do to stop errands and bird feces dropping in your water. Like I also said, it's not just grey errands. Seagulls are another one. Crowers, anything like that, anything that can that their feces can get into your water, they could transmit parasites. Let me just flip. Last year, you see the apex of that roof there. Watched a seagull swallow a dead rat, and this rat must have been easily twelve inches long, and it swallowed it like it was nothing. So, I oh now probably 90% of my fish in this pond they could swallow no problem grey errands they're another one I've seen grey errands are another one I've seen those while I'm fishing swallow a 12 inch fish not a problem and like I said if you go and get your fish it will certainly have a go at pecking at it to try to get it down uh, and it will, it will cause damage to your fish and that's where you don't want uh, infections to develop on, on the side of your fish etc and um, parasites are the biggest one with birds they're a, a huge um, huge problem when you come to koi and like I said you don't want to be putting potassium permanganate in your water every few months it's lethal stuff the best of times uh, so yeah so there you go then you lot there's your fill for the day of me if you like what I say and you like my videos, hit like and subscribe and smash that bell icon. See you later.